Well, Shumai Dosbath, Envis, how are you? I'm here with our craft for this week, and we are going to make Hickory Dickory Dock with a little mouse on. So, I've had a piece of A4 paper, and I've just taken a little piece down the side, because I'm going to use this at the top of my clock. So that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to see this is a little bit bigger, and I'm going to chop it. Didn't cut that very straight, so I'm going to try that again. And that's going to be the top of my clock. Okay, so all I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little bit of glue across there. Because it's like a grandfather clock. There we go. So that's going to be the top of my clock. Now the other important thing we need on a clock is a face. We need a clock face. And that's all I've got is a piece of paper. I've got something round to draw around. And I'm going to get my pencil. And I'm going to draw right around the side of this. And this is going to be the face of my clock. Remember I said that a clock has a face and two hands if it's an analogue clock. It's a funny old word, isn't it? So I'm just carefully cutting my circle out. And then I've got to write the numbers on. And can you remember what I said? The numbers go up to on an analogue clock. They go from one all the way up to 12 and I'm going to show you a trick for trying to get the numbers in pretty much the right place so I'm going to fold my clock one way like this my my circle that's in half then I'm going to fold it in quarters Then I'm going to fold it again okay and then I'm going to open it up and I'm going to decide which one is going to be the top okay now then there's my top that's going to be number 12 and number one is going to be just this side of the line this one's going to be oh so she's making a real mess with her pen tonight then I'm going to have number three so it goes what 12 one two three then we're going to have four and five six then we're going to have seven this side of the line eight that side of the line nine ten eleven twelve now can you remember oh look i've got dots on my clock now never mind oh mrs i'll put my clock down here that's okay can you remember what i said the clock struck when i said right Take that off there. Mr. Richard got a very, very black pen. So that's my big hand. And I'm going to do a little hand then pointing at one. So that's what time is going to be when the mouse starts running down the clock. So I'm going to put my clock face now. That's going to go on my clock here because obviously I've made a big mess of it. But that's okay. There we go, put my glue on the back. So there's my clock face. Now the important thing I need to do now is I need to make my mouse. And let's have a think how we're going to do that. I'm going to draw his body. It's going to be a little bit like an oval shape. Okay. There he is. Then I'm going to give him a head, which is a bit like a triangle. Well, in fact, it's a lot like a triangle. Oh, that might need to be a bit bigger. Mr. Richards needs to make that a bit bigger. Otherwise, he's going to look a little bit odd. So I'm going to cut my oval out with my big scissors once again. And then I'm going to cut his head out. And then I'm going to have to give him some ears. And mice have got quite big ears, really, for the size of their bodies. I cut my triangle down there, across there. Three sides on a triangle, isn't there? And across there. Now then, my head's going to go here, like this. Then I'm going to give him his ears. And his ears are going to be like two small circles. That's going to be his nose going down there. Oh, I've come off your screen. I need to give him some eyes. So I'm going to bring my piece of paper back in. And I've already lost my pen on my very messy desk. 
So there's his eyes. Now, if you've got googly eyes, you could use those. But, there's my whiskers. There's my nose. He's going to have to have a tail as well, isn't he? Then I'm going to cut two small circles. Now, I think I've said before, Mrs. Richards is, doesn't, doesn't cut circles very well without something to draw around. But that's okay. Because they're all going to look different, aren't they? And you all did such a lovely job last week on the three blind mice that I thought we needed another craft for this week. I'm just going to try and straighten up his ears a little bit. There's, there he is, look. Okay, so I'm going to put a bit of glue there. And put that one on. When I was a little girl and I used to keep mice, one of my mice was called Yoda because Mrs. Richards had a real thing for all the Star Wars films. So, look. So one of my mice was called Yoda and I had another one then. My brown and white mouse was called Gizmo out of the Gremlins film. So now I'm going to give him a bit of a tail. Okay, and actually for his tail this time, I'm going to sellotape it on. So I'm going to put his tail there. Last week I made a hole for his bottom, didn't I? This time I'm going to use a little bit of sellotape. Use my scissors carefully to cut it and not cut me. You are all doing such amazing work on Seesaw. I am so proud of you. I think, I don't tell anyone, but I think you are the best class. But don't tell anyone because they'll be sad. So, I'm going to stick this on there with my mouse running down the clock because the clock struck one the mouse ran down hickory dickory dock so a bit of glue on him now and there we go okay so there's my clock it might be a bit hard for you to see it all hickory dickory dock the mouse ran at the clock, the clock struck one, the mouse ran down, hickory dickory dock, tick tock. It's a bit, Mr. It's a bit croaky today, I think. Now then, if you wanted to, you could do the Welsh one and you could have it on three. Hickory dickory dock, hle god in lan a clock, and taro tree, a laura he, hickory dickory dock. Oh, did you hear me then? I went like a frog, all croakified. So, that's your job for this week. As I say, in the packs, if Mammy's and Daddy's have picked up your packs, there are loads and loads of different colour cards in there. And we've given you quite a bit because I'm sure, I'm sure there'll be a new craft project next week for you. Plenty to keep you busy. So I can't wait to see your pictures on Seesaw. Hoil vow, Frindiae. Hoil vow.